Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thorne. This is three methods to figuring out your personality type. So if you took the 16 personalities test and you're having doubts, okay, which personality type am I? I can see myself in several. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna write down which personality types you could see yourself as. Now, what I call, what I do is I triangulate types. So I see a person on a spectrum. So I see people being in between a group of three personality types. That means, for example, for myself, I tend to investigate myself as either being ENFJ, INFJ, or INFP. That means I tend to see myself moving in that spectrum. That means during my times of highs, I tend to go into the persona of an ENFJ. And during my times of low, I tend to go into to more of a role of an INFP and that means I can kind of take on all these behavioral traits and I can kind of see myself in these types to an extent but I can identify with their values, passions and what they are doing. So how I find out my personal type is I try to see what is the middle option because often the middle way option is the closest to your own personal type. If you see yourself as either an ENTP, an INTP or an INTJ most likely you're an INTP and that's just how it goes. You look at and you can see yourself from these different sides and you can recognize you have different sides to yourself. Nobody is always the one personality type they come off as on a personality test. And sometimes you're gonna be a different personality type than what you test as on a personality test because you might have fundamentally misunderstood something about yourself. The second step to figuring out your personality type is type yourself based on your flow. Type yourself based on what you do when you are the most confident about yourself. What I might notice is I might have an idealization towards ENFJs. That means I might idealize having the energy or action or passion that they do. And I might seek to try to emulate that in myself. So on my good days, on my very best days, I find myself trying to be that kind of a person. Thinking that will make me more successful and thinking that is who I am at my best. I look at my energy in those situations and I see, wow, there is so much energy, so much passion. I want that. Maybe that is who I am at my best. And so you have that side of yourself. You have your higher self, you have your lower self. And so a lot of time I can see myself as an INFP during my weekdays or my low days. And I might see myself as a person that I can be prone to moodiness, hiatus, disappearing, and kind of uh, getting lost inside my own head and fantasies and my own dream world. And yeah, really my own idealism. So I can see myself slipping between these kind of behaviors and uh, I can see then what causes me to go that way. Well, lack of confidence in myself, stress, um, uncertainty, insecurity, anxiety. And so what I'm realizing is I'm not typing myself based on a good day. I'm not t t typing myself based on who I am when I'm the most confident in myself. And you have there your flow personality type. And your flow personality type is your best representation of who you really are the most of the time. So at work or in my real life and in one-on-one -on -one conversations, I tend to fill the role of the INFJ. I tend to be the one that sees and listens to and empathizes with people. I tend to try to understand and figure people out. I tend to try to really get people's thinking and get inside their own heads and to think with their own voice what they are thinking, hear what they are hearing, hear, do and say and see what they are seeing with their eyes. And so I try to talk to them and communicate and reach out to them in a way that will help them or support them. And I do this instinctively all the time and I find it very easy to do. That's the other sign. Your flow type is something you find very easy to do, something you find effortless in yourself, something that just comes out naturally, something that you do all the time because yeah, it's really something very easy for you to do and it's your natural survival strategy. It's how you deal with life. So another question I tend to use, uh, well, I have three questions I can give you in order to figure out your personality type. So use these questions to figure out your type. Before I tell you these questions, I'm going to tell you the third piece of advice though. And the third piece of advice is really important. Don't compare yourself to other people. The reason for this is you will constantly misunderstand other people and their behavior and their actions. That means often when you look at other people who you believe are the same type as you, you will find yourself thrown off by how they say things, their actions, their physical cues and you'll misunderstand their intentions and their needs and this happens all the time we constantly misunderstand other people 
and our view of other people tends to be very, very subjective. That means we're, it's not a good strategy to compare yourself to their, your view of them. It's better instead to ask yourself questions about yourself. What do I value? What do I like? What gives me energy? What gives me confidence? What causes me stress? What causes me anxiety? What tends to drain me of energy? What tends to cause me to doubt myself? Those are the kind of questions that will help you figuring out your personality type. So the three questions to figuring out your personality type are, first, how do you want to save the world? Okay, now let's see if YouTube wants to run an ad. Sometimes uh, objective personality will liken uh, your flow functions to your saviors. And that means, how do you see yourself making the world a better place? What do you think is the recipe that will make the world better? A lot of time I tend to see that, oh, by being more empathetic and being more understanding and creating a more empathetic and understanding world, every problem will be solved. There will be no wars and we will all get along and we'll have harmony and everything will be at peace and everything will be great. And so I try to see, that's how I try to save the world. I try to make videos that spread awareness and understanding and empathy. And I tend to get people to try to see each things from different points of views. So to create mutual shared understanding between different personality types. What do you think is the primary threat to the world? And okay, this is a really interesting one. What do you think is constantly screwing up your life or the world in general? I don't just think it's cruelty. Cruel behavior, selfish behavior, misunderstandings, things that, uh, yeah, basically uh, hurting other people, not listening to others, pushing your own views onto other people, not seeing things they are feeling, not really listening to other people, not really understanding other people, attacking other people, causing conflict, destruction, violence uh, towards people you misunderstand or people who are different from you. That's what I tend to see as the primary threat to the world. And I saw this in politics as well. The final question to figuring out your personality type is, what are your most important values? Think about, okay, what is most important to you in life? What kind of life do you want for yourself? What kind of career, lifestyle, what kind of relationship are you looking for? Because those kind of questions are really the ones that really get you thinking about your flow functions. And often it's we try to build our life around our flow functions. We try to build them in a way that gives us time for ourselves, for introspection or for uh, business or career prospects or for our ambition. We form rules and we live and act and we want to live and act in a way that gives us what we want. So for an extroverted intuitive, it might be having freedom. For an intuitive perceiving type, it might be having change in your life. For a sensing and judging type, it might be having a tradition or routine. So, personality type is about values. You'll see that in my personality tests and you'll see that in yourself. Values are the most consistent thing about your personality type. Not your behavior, which can change at any moment, but your values and your deeper intentions. So I hope this video helped you figure out yourself or that you will now grab a notebook. You'll start writing down your different types you identify with. Perhaps you'll start writing down pro and con lists for every personality type. Perhaps you'll start looking at the values of every personality type. Perhaps you're going to start listing your top cognitive functions that you identify with the most. And you're going to start writing down, okay, and comparing, contrasting. Okay, what's that? What's that? What's that? And you're going to start writing down, okay, what are my values? What's me in this? What's me in stress, what's me when I'm excited, what's me when I'm tired, and you're gonna, using this method, get a bit closer to figuring out your personality type. The final thing you can do if you want to really learn more about yourself is you can visit patreon.com slash ericdor and you can reach out and send me a message. I can help you set up a video or create an article or write something about yourself and I can ask you some questions that help you move forward. And I can help you give some feedback, some outer feedback so you can help process and reflect on what you are saying and what you are feeling and what you are doing in a more objective point of view. I will never tell you what type you are. I'm never going to slam a type label on your face. I'm going to help you figure out for yourself what type you are by helping you understand the types better. That's how I teach and that's what I like and that's how I, what I believe is most important when it comes to figuring out your personality.
that was my video. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, share and subscribe. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video.